Hello everyone, it's Gilbert here. Welcome once again to Red Dragon Model Works. Um, this is something a little different, um, this video. Um, I'd like to, um, I, I, I never endorse anything. I, um, I'm not, uh, I don't have enough subscribers here where people send stuff to me to, uh, to preview. But I, but I want to show you guys a little something that I received in the mail. Last year, I was doing some work with some kids and uh, reached out to someone, and, and he sent a few things over so I can, you know, to help the kids, you know. Uh, and that was last year. So I received a package in the mail from uh, a good friend, Ian Hamilton. Now, many, those, some of you guys know who he is. He's, uh, he works for uh, Make a Menaces, uh, Ammo. Um, and he sent me a few products here to to try out and see what I thought of them and I'll let you guys know what I thought of them. Um, I don't uh, I'm not an armor builder but I you know I wanted to show you guys this because I, I truly believe you know myself with the styrene syndicate you know that you can take any product any 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 paint any glue whatever and you can use them for anything Weathering products can be used with cars, planes, you name it. They can be used for anything. And MIG um, is, <laughs> let's face it, he's the top dog in, in this stuff. So I want to show you guys what my friend Ian Hamilton sent to me. Let me zoom in a little bit and I'll show you. Um, again, I, ha I haven't used any of this stuff yet. So please forgive me. You know, I'm, um, I'm going to have videos on them. To show you guys what I think of them. But let's start out with this. Some primer. Now, this is a rust primer. And <laughs> I, this is great. I, I love the color. Um, uh, let's see. What size bottle is this? This is a 60 mil bottle. Um, from You know, I, I, I've heard from people that have used this stuff. And they love it. They say it sprays beautifully. They love the stuff. It's got it levels out nicely. I, there's another a primer that I don't want to uh, mention too much that I've had nothing but trouble with. And I'm from what I'm told, this stuff is great. I'm going to have a video. I'm going to spray it, show you guys how it levels out, and give you my opinion of it. But I wanted to show you and, and thank this brother Ian for what he sent to me. Number one, he sent me some of this. Also, he sent me a 60 mil bottle of gray primer. Oh, and he also sent, along with that, some thinner, some acrylic thinner, MIGS acrylic thinner. Now, again, I, 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 I hear a lot of good things. I, I, I listen, you know, you have people like Cohen C. You have um, a few other brothers, man, that use this stuff and they love it. They don't use it exclusively, but they use it, and they they have good things to say about it. So, I was I'm I'm just excited, man. I'm over the moon to try it, you know. Also, um, excuse me, let me lower this down one more time. I keep messing with this camera. You know, pardon me. Um, and I'll zoom in one more time. He also sent me some paints, and this one is a smart set, a Syrian modern Syria smart set. There's three bottles in here. This one has, uh, they're numbered MIG 030, MIG, uh, A MIG 912, and 931. You have a sand yellow, a, a red brown shadow, and a Russian dark base. And um, you can, you know, you can achieve those colors with what's inside here. Um, as far as the top, you know, the base coats, or the, the camel coats, rather, I should say. Um, and you have the three there, there's 17 mil bottles, and they got agitators in them, They're pretty cool, you hear that? Um, so there's the, this is the, the sand yellow, I like that color, man, that sand yellow is really nice, you know, it's a pretty cool color, and then this one is your red brown, and then you have your Russian dark. So there's three in this one here, and I'll have a video on that showing you, you know, again, I'm going to use these, you know, makes me want to go out and get, you know, 
I see this here, this little, I think it's a BMP. Now you want to pick one up. But this is going to come in handy because I'm, I'm preferential to the, to the desert uh, camels. The greens, I don't like too much. But these desert camels, I love them. Also, that. And I got a thing for this, this kind of camel scheme right there. I love that camel scheme. Well, this one here is Israeli uh, Air Force, uh, desert colors. And here you have the light compass gray ghost. You have a middle stone. You have a light gray green. And you have a tan. And this is, you know, again, there's four of them in here. It's a little smart set. Um, this one here says air set. And again, from what I understand, the ones with the yellow bottles all have agitators, the one with the red don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Michael can, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, there's there's four of them in here, and I'm excited, man. I can't wait to use this stuff. Yeah. This one here is the... Israeli Air Def, uh, Force Desert colors. Then he sent me over some of these that have, I believe, five of them in there. Yeah, there's five in here. I'm sorry, six. And these are French tank colors. And it gives you the call outs on how to do specific colors which i think is pretty cool you know on the side here you have the call outs so i think that's pretty damn cool I, i'm excited man i can't wait i can't wait to use them i really can't and then you have he sent me modern russian colors now this i wish i'd have had when i did this but again gives you the color call outs there and i believe there's six in here also you have the six colors in there, and, then this. and um, again, all of them with the agitator. Now, again, from everything I have heard from people that have used this, uh, people in the know, and what I mean by that is you have people, um, like uh, a lot of folks over at International Scale Modeler, International Scale Modeler, that, um, Cohen C, Michael, um, those guys, they, they've, they've used these, they've previewed them, they, they, they've given you their thoughts on them. Um, you can go check out their videos of what they think about them. I'm going to tell you what I think about them. I think that anything, any paint can be used for anything. It's not uh, armor specific, plane specific, or whatever. You can use them for anything. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that in a second. Ian also sent me a couple of magazines. And this, to me, I mean, I love the paints. Don't get me wrong. He, oh, I'm sorry. He also sent me some cleaner. Now, I've used this. You can tell I've already used it. You can use it on your brushes, on your airbrush, to clean tools, whatever. I ran this through my airbrush, and I had a clog. And I could, rather than running the, the, the Tamiya uh, X20 or whatever, the lacquer thinner through it, or regular lacquer thinner or rubbing alcohol, I ran some of this through it. Blew it right out. Now, it's a cleaner. Um, you could use it for uh, brushes, for tools, airbrushes. I like it. Works great. I'm going to be husbanding this stuff because I like it. A couple of drops of this inside your, um, your airbrush. Cleans it right out. I like it. So that's going to be part of my, my use because I don't like the smell of the lacquer thinner and that there. Works great. I digress. Sent me these two. Now, I'm not a magazine person, guys. I never was. I don't believe in them. Um, I think that you, you know, you, pictures and those little step-by-steps they give you, although they're nice, doesn't really show people um, how to do something. You know, some people, you know, they'll tell you, oh, I, I used XYZ product and I got this. I like these for a reason, and I'm going to show you something. Now, I spoke to Ian, and I asked him, you know, what am I allowed to show, you know, inside these magazines, you know, without running afoul of uh, of copyright. And I'm going to show you. He says, you know, you can show the cover. You know, talk a little bit about it and a few pictures, but no more. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole magazine, guys. You can get this in um, the U.K. for 8-year-old. You can also order it here in the U.S. Uh, and I believe, I don't know about Canada, but I know here in the U.S. it's about $10.15, something like that. But um, let me let me zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys something. You have here, this is a... Uh, Specific to the Vietnam era. 
and there are some phenomenal pictures in here, guys, um, and, and how to do certain things. And I'm going to show you, um, here, we'll start with this guy right here, the shark attack. I'm not going to, again, I can't show you much, but I can show you just a little bit. Um, you go into step-by-step step on how to achieve that, that look, this look, which is phenomenally beautiful. There's also something else in here that I, that I found. There are a couple of things in here that I found very great. And again, I can't show you much, but that. You got an F4 Phantom here. And he shows you in this magazine what he used to get that. And there's like little step-by-steps on how to achieve that. There's also Gundams. Um, there's also um, Terrain. There is, um, let's see, there are, um, there's a, uh, a couple of tanks in here. Uh, figures. Um, Again, I said Gundam. There are, uh, there's a, um, a MiG-17 in here. Um, of course, the Huey I just showed you. There's a, um, another uh, NVA uh, tank. I believe this one was done by Ian. And, you know, you can go in there and take a look at it. But this is a pretty damn good magazine, guys. Um, pretty good. There's also this one, KO and Rex. Now, this is phenomenal, man. And there's something in here that I know will... will, will there's a picture of a, of a King Tiger. It's from, I believe, 1941-42. I might be wrong. And it's probably, I think, from what it says here and from what I've read about the picture, there's not many color pictures of uh, World War II armor. Especially German World War II armor. But there is a, this one. Look at that. Look at what he did with that. Isn't that, that that's just phenomenal, guys. Beautiful work. Um, the picture in question, and if I, I, I again, I, I don't want to run afoul of Ian here and show too much, but um, uh, and I believe this one here was done by me. There's the actual photograph right there. And then you see MIG's interpretation here and the photograph here. And I'll tell you what, guys. This guy's a master, man. I mean, I, I, love, the, I love his work. But I urge you guys, man, you know. Oh, so let me back this up a little bit. These magazines are worth the $10 you buy for them. I'm not a magazine guys, uh, guy. I, I don't buy a lot of magazines. I, I find what I need on YouTube. I have a few CDs here and there that I watch people's stuff. But I think, you know what, this is well worth the $10, and I'm going to be ordering a lot more of these. I've been, you know, the last week or so that I've had this, I've just been, you know, I've had my nose in it, trying to, you know, watch and see, you know, try to pick out little things, and wow, that's cool. I like the way he, you know, he, he used this product to get that effect, you know. There's uh, there's all kinds of really Really cool. There's also a, uh, in this magazine, there is a, uh, I think this is a, a Mac, you know, one of those Mac uh, uh, things, and he beats the crap out of that one right there, you know, it's right here. So, beautiful work, man, Jesus, you know, beautiful work. I urge you guys, man, you know, you know, stuff like this here is just phenomenal. You have people like uh, like Skill Model Attic. You have people like Aaron Newland with the, with the Modeling Misfits magazines. You know, this is just, uh, these are tools that we could all use. And you know what? There's other magazines out there that have been out there for a long time, but they don't go in depth like this here. There's not a lot of advertisement in here. There's just a lot of, there's advertisement, don't get me wrong, but there's just a lot of work in here. And, and that's beautiful. And, you know, it's just you know, I don't want to, you know, you don't have a lot of ego pumping with words. You have, it, it shows you all the pictures. So, guys, I encourage you, man, if you can, pick these up, man. Um, this one is great for, you know, giving you some reference on how to do, you know, knocked out uh, uh, arm or anything knocked out uh, or just decrepit and wrecks and stuff. And this one just gives you some beautiful reference pictures and how to, you know, what products and stuff to get to use to achieve this kind of, you know, this era, but also you can use it for just about anything, man. So I urge you guys, man, 
you know, I don't endorse stuff, guys. I really don't. You, you can look at my videos, and there's nothing in there that, that I've ever endorsed anything. But this, I think, you know, the magazine is, is well worth the $10, man. It's well, well worth it, man. You know, so check them out, guys. I'll have videos on, on the paints and stuff, you know, and, and, you know, how they spray, how they lay down, those kind of things. I have never used them before. This is the first time I got my hands on them, so I can't give you an honest assessment but of what I think of them. But from everything I've heard, they're great. They're great. So, you know, and now, you know, I was looking at that wreck, and I'm thinking, hmm, blow this guy up a little bit because I've been hitting around and wanting to do that man with uh with a piece of armor for a while you know on the styrene syndicate I talk about it all the time on the hangouts too that I want to take one of these paints and just beat the crap out of it and I just might do it with that one there after the group filter is done on our styrene syndicate um I don't have uh as far as uh updates on my stuff I have a few things but that's not the purpose of this video um also real quick before I go there's one thing, and I picked this up, and I meant to show you guys a while, and then I saw a video from our good friend, Dr. Cranky, and it kind of reminded me, Jesus, Gil, you got the thing there. Why don't you show it, you know? And I picked up uh, also what he, you know, showed, and he's right. You know, you if you use an airbrush, you should have an ultrasonic cleaner to clean it out, if you use it a lot. I've been using my wife's. It's a little bitty jewelry one. And it just, it worked, but you can't really fit much stuff in there. So I went on Amazon and I picked up one of these. And I believe it's the same one that, well, it's the same one Dr. Cranky has. Um, it's the same one that I believe Chung from uh, uh, the Consortium, I think it is. What is it, though? Anyway, Chung has. And I know, I think uh, Steve from uh, Clover and Cross has this very same model. Um, sometimes the guys show them and they don't show them in scale. So this is the scale of them. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice machine. It runs five minutes. You know, there's, there's your, you have a couple of little, you know, your little basket. There's also a little divider inside here. Your stainless steel, uh, tub, you know, so I haven't used it yet, but I think I'm going to, in a hangout one day. I'm going to let this run in the side, and I'll show you guys how that works. You know, give you, give you what I think. But from everything I've read, this is a pretty good little machine. I think I paid 27 bucks with Prime, Amazon Prime. Shipped it, though I had it in two days. So, and, you know, a couple of these guys have got to take a bath, man. They really do. Um, I know this one does. Um, this one here needs a... Is it this one? No. This guy right here can use a pretty good bath. So... But yeah, that's where I'm at now, guys. Um, I'm gonna finish up with uh with my Willis uh drag coop, my tank for the for our styrene syndicate tank uh group build. I want to also thank each and every one of you, um that have, that has watched our uh, our show and you know it comes and hangs out with us. Even the hater that I get there because yeah, I got one of those and he just I like clockwork. That boy shows up, and <laughs> I guess I, I angered somebody there somewhere. Who knows? Um, anyway, that's neither here. <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I don't care. I really don't. Um, but um, I, I, I'd like, you know, thank you all for, for uh, visiting that and, and supporting us on the Styrene Syndicate. We also, I also have another one called the Styrene Brotherhood. And um, Aaron Newlands and I are running that one there. And that's, you know, it's, it's a little bit, it's more of the same people also belong to the Styrene Brotherhood. But as far as, uh, we did want to hang out. It's a little bit more slower tempo, you know, because <laughs> some of us over at the, the Sons of Styrene and Styrene Syndicate, we can be a wild bunch, guys. So you come visit us, man. Styrene Syndicate, Styrene Brotherhood. You know, I will Google Plus pages, man. I'll have a review of all this stuff on both of those, you know. So you come visit us on Saturday, man. And, you know, enjoy, you know, hang out with us, man. You know, let us know what you guys think, you know, and what you guys are building. Um, weekends upon us. You guys have a good one. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your families. You know, enjoy uh, some football here in the United States. Hopefully, my Chicago Bears will win a game. We'll see. But uh, we'll see you guys Saturday. This is Red Dragon saying peace. Build a model, brothers. Build a model.